Hey, what's going on? Welcome back again to another tutorial or this time more of an explanation video on this channel. The question is, can you lower your iPhone's battery cycle count? And the short answer is going to be that no, you cannot directly lower it. But there are some points or things to understand in order to manage it effectively. So the battery cycle count, as you of course know, is just measuring how many times uh, you were charging up your iPhone, right? So um, every time you use 100% of the battery's capacity, not necessarily in just one go, right? So for example, it might be just like, you know, like 30% one day, then the rest the next day. And this is going to be counted as just one cycle. And you cannot lower it as it's like a measure of usage. It's stored in the battery's firmware and it just cannot be reversed or reset without replacing the battery itself. So if you don't like the number that you see, you can always just replace the battery and get a new one, right? So as I say, you can always just do that. But you can also extend the life to slow the count, right? So you can use some sort of tips to avoid extreme temperatures, you know, you should always just do just the basic, you know, optimized charging and paying attention to the way that you use and charge the battery, right? You should also have the, as I say, optimized battery charging enabled in the battery health settings. So yeah, there are some steps you can take to save battery and make sure that you don't use it up so quickly and therefore keep the cycle count relatively low. So that's it for me. It's just an explanation video. So go ahead and let me know below what you think. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.